All right, YouTube, now with our second video, now we're going to get into it with Sony services. Now we're not going to talk about games or, or like, you know, what they're doing on that aspect. We're going to talk about their services because that's what in terrible need. Well, Xbox has always had wonderful services, whether live or whatever. Sony, on the other hand, mm -mm. at one time, their services were free, remember? But then they saw what Xbox was making and they went ahead and turned their online services as excuse me, a subscription base. And at one point that everything got hacked and crumbled down, they had to offer a PlayStation Plus type service. What do you see it? And well, you see how things gone, you know. Some of it been good and some of it been bad. But we're gonna talk about services now that's just been horrendous. We're going to talk about PlayStation Stars first. This is some brand new. It's like uh, giving back to the community for trophy goers and, and unlocking stuff. It looks wonderful. But to me, that's all it is. It looks wonderful. Because my ass is still on the fucking... I try my best not to cuss, but... I'm still on the flipping wait list. Wait list says it can take up to two months. But here's the ordeal. People who subscribe the same time frame and still to this day are getting instant access to PlayStation Stars while us who are on the so-called wait list is still waiting. It's been over two months and we're still waiting. False advertising, false claiming. You said it will take up to two months. I've contacted um, PlayStation services and I was told by the rep the same sorry ass script that gives me a F2 y'all. Basically you're on waiting list you have to have to wait until to up to two months. The same script that you had given to us when we try to log in is the same flipping thing being repeated to by the customer rep. That is this poor, piss poor performance, piss poor scripting, piss poor services. And the thing is, they can't do nothing because they don't have the tools to put anybody through. They don't have the tools to fix anything. They can't do nothing about PlayStation Stars except whenever PlayStation Stars decides to finally push people through. Now it's going up close to three months and we're starting to see new, the new stuff. And, and I'm still wanting to go on to the very day one unlock stuff and i can't i can't participate i feel like i am being discriminated on i feel like i am basically being treated differently i mean like how is it, it all these other people who get pushed in instantly and to this day still getting pushed in instantly get these privileges if it, it kind of feels like your beta testers for your new updates on your console i used to get those but the last two times i didn't get not excuse me i didn't get the invitation i didn't get the beta code i'm kind of questioning what, what what's going on here are you going by people who buy digitally because if that is you need to be sued for it i don't know what what, what goes on uh, what determines people who get pushed through with playstation uh playstation stars i don't get it it's been past two months now. October 5th was the day I put in. December 5th been gone. It ain't going to be that long until January 5th comes in. Uh, uh, month three and what the hell are y'all doing? Why am I not having access to these benefits? I don't get it. And you always pushing about these new things and, and nobody can do it, you know? Why are people being treated differently? I don't get it. I have to give y'all an F for that. How I mean, you got services and people can't access your services. Feel like customer support. At one time, that was supposed to be a tier thing with PlayStation. If you go PlayStation Plus Premium, <laughs> you get access to better customer service. Like, what the hell were y'all thinking? Xbox is destroying you on your services, you know? I mean, like, I don't get that. And they don't need a premium to give good customer service. <laughs> so 
So that's how I feel about PlayStation Stars. I give a niff because to this day I still don't have access to it. I can't do nothing with it. I got all these trophies and I don't know what's gonna be able to. I can't unlock nothing. How's it people in Brazil or, or whatever country got first dibs anyway on it? I don't get it. I don't understand. Then we're going to go with PlayStation subscription-based services now. And we had, you saw the three new tiers and they made promises. And guess what? To this date, of all these months they've done it now, they still have not gone with what they claimed. It's false advertising, false claiming. They said PlayStation Classics was going to be on the premium service along with Trials. Well, they kept good with the Trials. But the Classics are like how the Classics were with the PS3 and the PS4 trash limited up to limited stuff because you know it is so they try and get trophy uh access with it and other stuff and guess what there's hardly any playstation 1 stuff playstation 2 is extinct on it like like what what y'all doing all you're pushing is playstation 3 and we don't want playstation 3 we don't want your streaming service we don't want to stream playstation 3 games either let us download it Oh, let us boot it up from what we have. I got a huge PlayStation 3 catalog. I can't play none of that shit on here. It's not backwards compatible because y'all don't understand how to do that shit. How's it PlayStation 3 is emulated online? How's it their games run finally perfectly on it? But y'all can't understand it. You can't get your shit together. You've had the people with Bleem for a while. You bought them out and you, this, that, but... <sighs> You had some of this backwards compatibility with PlayStation 2. I mean, like, you got it working, improved, and you didn't do nothing with it. Same deal. It's just a handful of stuff. Other countries have more stuff, and we're still waiting for you to bring the new Siphon filter stuff over and stuff that was already... Like, what are you doing? Where's the PlayStation 2 games? Where's the PlayStation 1 games? Finally put PlayStation 3 as downloadable. What the hell? Because it don't run 100% flawlessly streamed. I don't want half-assed games. You and, and the thing is, you're charging double for your premium service, which the classics are on. And we have not gotten premium shit yet. What are you doing? You've, it's like how many thousand games at PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2? And you're not giving it to us, and then you're giving limited PlayStation 3 stuff. Like, what the hell are y'all doing? This is piss poor services. You're charging double, and well, you're not giving us the money's worth. You're basically stealing from us. Where's the games? Where's the PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PSP, PS Vita? Where the hell are these games? You haven't delivered on your promises. You should be sued for it. Xbox is destroying you digitally wise. As in gaming services. Gaming live. To... What are y'all doing? It's the same shit. As the PS3, PS4 days. As having those classics up. It's the same shit. Except you weren't charging double. That's the insult. So I had to give their services an F. Customer service an F. Stars an F. PlayStation services F. Because don't go premium. I'm, anybody who got premium downgrade right now to essentials or, you know, whatever the other tier is. And you'll get exactly what <laughs> we feel right now with the premium. We don't give a damn about no trials. Trials is just a demo. I mean, it's, it's a better demo, but at the same time, it's just demo. We never used to give demos out for free on a disc on PlayStation 2 days and well, PS1 days too, you know? What, what the hell? What are y'all doing? Y'all too worried about Activision and Microsoft to give a damn about your own community. I'm highly disappointed. To this day, I don't see anything worth it. You've just been robbing me blind from every month. Double. I, I hope y'all get sued and we can get this money back because you haven't delivered our shit. You have not given us anything and you haven't talked about it. 
it needs to be talked about what is the pl uh, future we always thought you know after three four months finally you're gonna get some stuff up no it's way past the due date w what's going on this is not what we paid for this is not what you promised you're basically doing what Microsoft said about Bethesda. You told us one thing and did a complete another. <sighs> so that's just my little rant about PlayStation services. I had to get it off my chest. I'm just so sick of the same shit ordeal going and they don't have shit to talk about. And they gotta do better and nobody wants to wait three, four years till you get the shit together. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave some likes and comments. Definitely hit that bell to subscribe. And always <laughs> enjoy.